Hi, I'm Greg Olwell, Senior Editor at Strings Magazine. This time I'm going to talk about violin cases and how you can sort through the sometimes overwhelming number of options that buyers face when searching for the best case for you and your violin or viola. In this violin case buyer's guide, we're going to look at several aspects of cases, but one thing will always be the same. No matter how much you spend or how bomb-proof the manufacturer claims its case is, you are always going to be your violin's first line of protection. However, a few basic things can help you prioritize your needs so that you may find the best case for your violin safety and your personal taste and spending ability. Here's a look at some of the characteristics of the cases that you might want to keep in mind when shopping for your next violin case. The number and variety of cases is a clue that one case definitely does not fit all, so you need to begin by balancing your priorities between weight, security, and features. But not always. As their use in automobiles show, light, high-tech composite materials and thoughtful design continue to challenge the old idea of weight equaling protection. Though plywood remains a favorite material for many case makers and players thanks to its proven durability and protection, violin cases increasingly rely on foam, fiberglass, and ABS plastic shells to reduce weight without sacrificing protection. It's worth pausing here for a moment to point out something that most of us might be guilty of, calling something a carbon fiber case. Most of the time, when musicians and dealers refer to these, they really mean ABS plastic, which is a material that's rugged enough that you see it used for bulletproof vests, car bumpers, and laptop covers. We don't have any cutaways to show you, and the manufacturers wanted us to keep the cases they sent in for review away from a bandsaw, but we do have this. Each of BAM's high-tech cases comes with a little swatch like this one here, to show you the different layers of protection. In this case, the sample shows us the ABS plastic outer shell, the foam interior, and the plush velvet-like interior. It's kind of a nice little thing to have with the case. Different shapes affect the case's weight and storage ability in different ways, and manufacturers constantly develop new variations on the classic three silhouettes of violin cases. Shaped, half moon, and oblong, striking a balance between weight and storage without reducing protection. Oblong cases offer players the most amount of storage inside and outside the case, and some feel the most security. Given their size, they also tend to be heavier, which is why smaller half moon and shaped cases are an option for players willing to give up some possibly unnecessary storage capability for something a little bit lighter. Like most of life's great inventions, suspension inside a violin case wasn't always there, but is now essential. It now seems so obviously necessary that most of us take it for granted, like seatbelts in your car or free Wi-Fi at your local cafe. But you can credit case maker Leroy Weber for coming up with the idea to use interior padding, usually injected foam, to lift and cradle a violin so the violin's body seems to float inside of the shell, with the scroll safely away from the bottom of the case where a bump could break it off or pop the neck off. There's no reason not to have suspension, and every reason imaginable to have it. It's available in almost every case for the most inexpensive case on up. Suspension also brings up another issue, fit. Since even full-size violins are made in different sizes, it's a good idea to bring your fiddle with you when looking for a case. Some cases use a suspension system that has more wiggle room for a violin, while others can be snug or even a little bit tight for violins with slightly longer bodies. Weatherproofing is also another way that your case protects a violin. Many hard shell cases, such as BAM's High Tech Series or the Bobolock 1047, rely on a tight-fitting rubber grommet to seal the shell's two composite halves, while the foam and plywood core cases typically utilize zippered, abrasion-resistant nylon cover with rain flaps to protect against rain and snow, or soda, coffee. This weather sealing not only protects your violin from the elements, it also helps maintain a constant humidity inside of your case. For the most part, violins are made out of organic materials, and like us, violins are happiest around a constant temperature of 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and a relative humidity of 35 to 50 percent. Part of your case's function is to help maintain this ideal climate when storing or transporting your violin through dry winters or soupy summers. 
That's why every case needs a device to measure relative humidity, a hygrometer. The mechanical hygrometers available as a feature in many cases are not valued for their accuracy, so you might want to invest in a digital hygrometer. You can purchase affordable and reliable digital hygrometers from Planet Waves or Radio Shack. For some, a case humidifier can also be an important feature. Stability is a key to a happy fiddle, so consider the possibility that transferring your violin from a perfectly humidified case to a dry performance space might be worse than a violin that's been kept at a constant hydration level. If it's possible, give your instrument time to adjust to the climate changes by arriving early for a performance and allowing it to adapt to the room. This isn't always possible, but personally when I'm performing, I like to have my bass at the venue and ideally on the stage for at least an hour before playing. I find that this makes my instrument much more stable and stays in tune much better. One characteristic of high-end cases that can sell for thousands of dollars is the vault-like fit of every piece. When you close the top of a higher-end case, the different pieces, the latches, the locks, and so on, connect with the kind of effortless precision that distinguishes a good violinist from a great one. In other words, they're doing it better and making it look easy. Pieces like latches, hinges, locks, handles, and D-rings need to live up to the task and should be made to not fail. When examining a case, ask yourself if the zippers and latches feel like they'll withstand thousands of case closings and openings. Are the handles securely attached to the case? Handles riveted into a foam case or a cloth cover can strip out, and if they do, it's never going to happen at a good time. So look for a case with handles screwed into the case's core material for strength and peace of mind. Once you look inside the case, you'll want to look beyond the ooh factor of all those soft materials and support systems to pieces like the bow spinners and compartment covers. They should feel sturdy and durable enough to last thousands of turns, twists, and openings. Spinners that engage with a firm click when you twist them inspire confidence that your bow will be securely held. Some cases even include a nice touch like extra bow spinner pieces in the, in the event that one breaks, you can replace them. One thing that a lot of players like to do for safety, a little backup, is to use a rubber band around both bow spinners to protect a little extra insurance against one of the bow spinners failing, that if it does fail or twist out of position, that the rubber band will be there to protect your bow from falling on top of your violin. Even if you use a blanket, which many cases come with, you don't want the spinner coming loose and dropping your bow onto your violin's top. And nobody's ever regretted storage compartments that use long-lasting piano hinges in place of fabric and elastic. Beyond knowing what to look for in a secure protective case, be honest with yourself about how you're going to use your case. Some players fill their cases with everything he or she might need. A shoulder rest, every possible piece of sheet music, a cell phone, snacks, while others prefer a case with a stripped-down approach. Each approach has a benefit and may say something about your organizational skills, so consider your preferences when shopping. It's surprising how many cases won't fit a standard non-folding shoulder rest, so it's a good idea to bring your shoulder rest along with your violin and bow when auditioning cases. Though there are probably cases in some colors that you wouldn't be seen dead carrying, the case's appearance is the last thing you really need to worry about. Still, Appearances can be important to some, and many case models come in several different finish options to suit tastes from conservatively elegant to bold. One case included in our roundup, for example, the Tornarelli fiberglass, is available in more than a dozen colors. With the variety of makers and cases on the market and a broad range of prices, you'll probably find the right case for your needs and wants, with a look that speaks to your inner serious artiste or inner wild child. You can read more about violin and viola cases at our website, allthingsstrings.com. For Strings Magazine, I'm Greg Olwell. Thanks for watching.